Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lorance product expert. As you can see, we're out here doing a little ice fishing and you know, these units are just so amazing in what you can do with them. I'm uh, gonna give you a little secret that you can do while you're out here. I know a lot of you guys like to get out here on the ice and do a little bit of running and gunning. You drill a bunch of holes, you put your grid patterns out there. So when you have one of our Lorance units that has GPS capabilities, one of the great things you can do with it is every hole that you drill, you can mark a waypoint on that. And then what you can do is after you've got all your waypoints marked on the unit and you're going around and you're running from hole to hole and you're finding your holes that either have the better structure or they're producing more fish, you can go to that waypoint on the unit and you can actually change it to whatever symbol you want to use to let you know, hey, these are my holes that are producing better so that you can run back and forth to those holes and you're cutting out the holes that are not producing. So when you're out here running and gunning, you set you some waypoints in your unit where you've drilled your ice holes, and then you just come back and you change your symbols on the unit to let you know which holes are producing. Okay guys, so I'm looking at my waypoints that I've got here for the holes that we have in the ice. Now I know from dropping the transducer in them and catching fish out of them, hole two, six, and four have been producing for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the, uh, the waypoint symbols on those. So the easiest way for me to do this is I know which ones they are. I hit the pages button, then I arrow up and I go to my uh, waypoints, routes and trails and hit enter. Arrow down to two, hit enter. Then I arrow right here to the symbol and I go to change that to, we're gonna select the fish one because we've been catching fish on this. Now I hit save and we go to number four because it's also producing fish for us. And I arrow down to save. And then six, arrow down to it, hit enter. Arrow to the symbol, change it to fish, hit enter, and hit save. So now that I've changed those symbols in here, I hit X. And now when we look at the screen, we can see here on the screen, the waypoint symbols have changed. So now I know which ones of my running and gunning holes are producing for me.
This is an instructional video for ice fishing with Deeper Pro series sonar. For this video, we will be using a Deeper Pro. Before we get started, let's review the technical specifications. Deeper Pro connects via Wi-Fi, weighs 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, scans down to 80 meters, 260 feet, 2.5 centimeter, one inch target separation, dual beam scanning, operates in temperatures down to minus 20 Celsius, minus four Fahrenheit. Lithium polymer battery, six hours non-stop usage, takes two hours to fully recharge. Compatible with iOS and Android devices. Inside the box, you will find the sonar itself, two attachment bolts, a charging cable, a carry pouch, and instruction manuals. Now, we will show you how simple it is to start ice fishing with the Deeper Pro. Before you get out on the ice, download the Deeper app from Google Play or the App Store. To get started, put the sonar in the ice hole. Go to your connectivity settings and find Deeper Pro in the list of available connections and connect to it. The password for the connection is 12345678. Please switch off mobile data or Wi-Fi assist on your smartphone, as this might interfere with the connection. As the Deeper Pro sits in the ice hole, you will see a stream of data on your phone. This is a detailed view. The orange is the water's bottom. See the constant yellow line moving up and down? That's your lure. Any line or arch appearing under your lure is a fish. The depth and temperature are displayed in the upper right corner, directly above the depth chart. On the left side, you will see the ice flasher display, which allows you to track your lure in real time. It's like a standard sonar view, but in a circle, with the depth and temperature data in the middle. By tapping on the menu dial on the left-hand side of the screen, you will get access to more options. At the very bottom is the sensitivity dial. Pull it up for clear waters and down for murky waters with less visibility. Select the zoom mode to reveal the zooming feature. You can pinch and zoom on any selected depth to see your lure or fish up close. This will give you a strategic advantage by enabling you to see the exact representation on your lure movement in real time. You can mark every ice hole and save for later analysis. To do this, tap to reveal the upper menu and tap on history. You can access all of your scanning data by scrolling. This feature allows you to mark every ice hole you visit, also giving you the ability to track the bottom structure changes of the lake. It is important to keep your phone insulated to extend its battery life while ice fishing. Our fisherman is using the Deeper Winter smartphone case. It is touch sensitive, splash proof, and can attach to a power bank. Move from hole to hole to build a picture of the lake or stay at your chosen spot. Wait for the fish to appear and start your battle.